bon et tout. remove the speaker system and fit carbs but as you can see this has still got speaker mechanical fuel injection good working order we've never touched it never had to so on the side of the bonnet there nice and then let's have a look at the scuttle as well so we'll just there we are that's better one of these trims just there you can see is slightly broken. I think replacements are available for those. Don't just recall how it happened. Neck and up there. Non functional car. I believe those are the ignition modules. Scuttle. Very nice condition. Of course, the car was restored in the 90s, so it should really be good under there. I haven't cleaned under here at all. We don't really tend to bother with that sort of thing. We figure an engine bay is an engine bay. It's going to get a bit dirty if you use the car, as we do in my family. Cars like this are for after all. Although this one admittedly hasn't seen that much use, <coughs> excuse me, in the last year or so. And that's the clutch. That's the cylinder down there. Now that is a threaded rod there with a bolt and it is adjustable. And that's one of the things that I think might need doing. The other being uh, bleeding the slave cylinder. It's on the side of the gearbox. I think either of those would fix the uh, slow uh, clutch pedal right. show the chrome around the windscreen sort of frame of the door window again I believe this is all original <clears throat> window wipers proper ones Just open the door. No, I haven't really cleaned in here either, but it doesn't really need it. It's quite nice. I'll show you if it focuses. There we go. Again, sorry about the uh, sniffing. Show you down there as well. You can see it's all very nice, nice condition. From out stainless kit plates. Oh. I should have vacuumed in there, that doesn't look very good, I apologise. This site you'll be familiar with if you've already watched the videos I've recorded for you. Popper original steering wheel. Nice thing to have. A little bit on the big side, but it's original, so. <coughs> the driver's seat. Just see there is some wear on the bolster. A little bit of this stitching coming away on the piping. Let's get the handle. Where am I now? There we go. If you can see that very well, this is a bit zoomed in. Try again. There we are, that's better. That's the back seats. In that file I've got the technical schematics and I think most of the paperwork and service history and so on. Just handy to keep it in the car for now. Sit in for this. Oh, quite a long way down getting into this car. Something to remember. 
Goblin. Here we are. This is quite a combination I've got. This is quite a hard, sort of almost rubbery hard plastic and it does crack over time. As you can see there, the other side is fine. And then again, at the back of the, I can't see that actually. Can't really help you see it, but just behind the instrument binnacle, a slight crack in the uh, vinyl covering. But I mean, like I say, it's 50 uh, years old almost. And it's been used, it's 60,000 miles, 63,000 I believe. In here, that's this little, could be a little storage area, or if you flip the handle, pull it down, you your fuse box. And this is the switch that you used to start the car if the ignition switch doesn't feel like behaving itself. You flick it one of two ways, it doesn't matter which way. Uh, well, sorry, it does matter which way. Uh, one way starts, the other way doesn't do anything, so there's no harm there. If you get it wrong first time, just flick it the other way and the car will always start. You have to have the ignition on, of course. On that way. Uh, see, quick look inside the glove box. There's a little uh, right here. There we are. Oh, can focus on that. There we go. So winder for the windows. Take off this little slot here, pop it in. And you can wind the windows down. Sounds good, another bit.